welcome everyone back to the channel and if you're new here, welcome. This video is going to be a quick tip showing you how to bind events to functions in your tkinter interface. So what we have here is an interface that is pulling CSV information from a spreadsheet and updating this interface with a value. So this is just some basic car information. We click on the car in this list box and we get some stock price, country, date of origin, etc, etc. The thing about this interface is it only works if we actually click the update button. So how would we make it to, let's say we click on an option and we select the enter, it actually updates. At the moment it doesn't do anything, so let's change that. The way this interface works is when you actually click the button it runs the update function we have here. So let's add on to the update and let's say that root.bind, this means that we're binding an event to the entire window, which is root. We're going to put the event name in quotation marks and angular brackets. We're going to say that return is bound to the command update. This means that every time if the root window is in focus, which is the entire window, and the return button is pressed, it's going to run the update function. One more tweak we have to make is that every time we run an event, it's going to emit an event object, and that event object is going to be input into this function. Our update function doesn't take any arguments, so we have to say that event equals none. Now when we run this, we're going to see that when we click on an option and we select enter, it's actually updating the values instead of us having to press the button. So now we've tied the event to the enter key, what if we want to make it to where when we select this brand here on the right hand side, it updates. So what we would do, that brand is called brand label 2, we would bind the event brand label 2.bind. The mouse click, the left mouse button click is called button 1. We're going to bind that to update. Let's see what we get. So we can update it by pressing enter, or we could select another option and click on the label itself and update. So we click on Hyundai and we can update it with enter, and then let's click on GMC, and if we click on the label, it's actually going to update. So I hope that quick little tip was helpful to everyone. If you have any suggestions or feedback or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks everyone for watching.